My name is Shuvo Roy. I work in the Department of Bioengineering and Therapeutic Sciences in the Schools of Pharmacy and Medicine at UCSF. I am working on the development of an implantable bioartificial kidney. Chronic kidney failure or end-stage renal disease as it's known affects over half a million people in this country. It's growing at about 5 to 7 percent every year. It's growing because of the obesity epidemic. People who have chronic kidney failure need dialysis to survive. Unlike the native kidney, dialysis does not provide all the other benefits that are required for health. So the people that have chronic kidney failure and are on dialysis are never healthy. The implantable bioartificial kidney that we are developing will provide most of the functions of a kidney transplant. This device will be implanted in your body and provide both the toxin removal as well as the biological activity that's required for health. Our device consists of two basic chambers. A hemofilter basically filters the blood, removes the toxins, takes out excess water and all the excess salts. In the cell bioreactor, we've got renal proximal tubule cells that basically reabsorb much of this water and salts back into the bloodstream. What they don't do is reabsorb the uremic toxins, so toxins don't get back through. The other function the cells do is to activate vitamin D and also some of the immunological protection that the kidney cells provide in a healthy body. The excess water toxins are then passed through a port into the waste outlet, which is connected to the bladder. There are certainly uh, challenges that uh, we have had to overcome. Fundamentally, we have had to wait for the state of the art in silicon nanotechnology to be able to provide us the membranes that is required for our device. The beauty of the silicon nanotechnology is that we can create super efficient filters. The filters are so efficient that the device operates on blood pressure alone. The implantable version of our device will be the size of a small coffee cup. Unlike dialysis, our device will provide continuous therapy 24-7. The patient will have complete freedom of mobility and, in addition, will be able to avoid the challenges of transplant. 